When you hear John Jones uh, at last week's press conference and he's talking to Daniel Cormier about how I did, I did cocaine for an entire weekend and then I came back and, and beat you. Do you feel that given his stature in this sport, do you think that's a damaging comment when you hear that? Or do you feel that's John Jones? That's his honesty. You can, you can take it or leave it. Uh, it's a little bit of both. At the end of the day, he kind of paves his own future, paves his own destiny, all that, you know. But for example, as a fan, you know, as a fan, as a coach, um, I don't know. I think it's kind of a little bit crazy, you know, doing cocaine and then going to the fight and then talking publicly about all that. I mean, my friend Kevin Gastelum got popped with a uh, uh, little THC in his system and they took, never mind, they took a bunch of cash, a bunch of money from him. He lost a major fight. But he lost, you know, they t now it's not a contest fight, you know. So I don't understand how that works. You get popped for something that apparently is going to go viral or legal everywhere. So it's the same thing as alcohol. It's actually less damaging than alcohol. And they take a win from him, like a really, really serious big win against the uh, Hall of Famer. And on the other side, we have a guy that publicly talking and kind of almost hyping up cocaine, which is a hell of a drug, killed a lot, a lot of people. Yep. And uh, he's not getting stripped from his wins, from winning on that weekend. And I don't know, I think it's a little bit crazy, you know? Um, but again, it is what it is. He pays his own future. I just, I don't understand how those kind of like two things can, you know, one guy gets popped and everything taken away from him from something, in my opinion, not really big of a deal compared to the other side where it's a, a hell of a drug and nothing is taken away from him. Meanwhile, he's making like a hundred times more of everything. I don't know. I think it's crazy. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. To me, it's it's a comment that that you look at it, and it's just he is, he's in a position where um, whether he wants to be or not, a lot of people are influenced by John Jones that are fans of the sport, that are younger fans of the sport. And I just I hear a comment like that, and I, I just think that it's, to me, it's it's just damaging. Just yeah. To have someone of, of that level that's that's but, bragging about something like that. Yeah, but the reality is, like in today's day, in today's society. People are kind of like, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, they're all happy about it. You know, they're all happy about it, and it is what it is, you know, I'm pretty sure. Did you sure. watch that press conference in Dallas? Yeah, 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 I did, I did. I'm a huge fan of uh, Daniel Cormier, you know, I'm a mm -hmm. huge fan. I think he's going to come out victorious in the rematch. Um, he's a super hard worker guy, and he's always has his mind straight, and um, I don't know, for some reason I think that if, John Jones does coke like that and parties like that. I think it's eventually going to catch up to him. Um, maybe not anytime soon, but a little bit later. And uh, I don't know if you guys remember his performance against OSP. Yeah. You know, I see a, a decrease in the performance compared to the John Jones we've seen before. But then again, he talks openly about um, cocaine and. He got popped with USADA for a couple other things too. So I think there's a lot, lot, lot more to John Jones that we don't know about and seeing kind of these kind of waves and in performances and in, uh, in, uh, in a public, the way he talks about uh, serious drugs. Um, I think we're gonna see some, some more waves like that from John Jones, but that's why I kind of like gravitate towards uh, DC. He's a real champion and hard worker and I want to be like Daniel Cormier.